Hey guys, so I am going to be filming a meal prep video today. Um, so this is just gonna be sort of how I meal prep um, and how it can be done pretty quickly. My goal is to try and get everything done in under 45 minutes, just to show you that you don't need a lot of time. Meal prep doesn't have to be time consuming. You just have to work smarter, not harder or longer, right? <laughs> so yeah, so these are gonna be the things, that I'll be meal prepping these foods, um, kind of the things that I'm gonna be eating as I'm trying to lose like eight to 10 pounds. Um, and I'll kind of film a couple, later in the week I'll film a few what I eat in a day so I can show you kind of how I use the things we cook today to make meals um, and go from there. But yeah, let's get into it. We are gonna go for as much prep as we can get done and as little time as possible. Let's go. Okay, so today I am going to be meal prepping. Let me show you Doo -doo -doo. some asparagus. I normally don't buy packaged asparagus like this, but it was a really good deal. And it's pre-trimmed, which is nice. It does save that little bit extra step, time saving. So we'll be doing asparagus, some chicken, peppers, onions, hard boiled eggs, rice, sweet potatoes. Um, and uh, that's basically the cooking aspect that we'll be doing. And then I'll show you how I um, will put together a few meals and how I'll use these ingredients. So let's get to cooking. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm actually going to set a timer on my phone um, so we can really see how long this meal prep takes me. So let's get ready. Three, two, let's go. All right guys, so I am preheating the oven here, 375, so it can get nice and warm for my potatoes. Um, while uh, I'm waiting for that, I'm filling up this pot of water um, so I can get that on the oven to start boiling because I'll be making some hard boiled eggs here. Um, so yeah, get everything going at once. The things that, you know, take the longest, I wanna get started, like the potatoes, um, the rice, the boiling water, and so that's what I'm doing here. I'm using an olive oil spray here. I really, really encourage you to try and use a spray. That is going to be 100% the oil it says olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, whatever your preference. Um, but if you check the back of the ingredients of a lot of these cooking sprays, you'll see they're a blend um, with things like soy lechin and vegetable oil, um, just the kind of fats that really aren't great for our body. So just something to keep in mind. The ends of these potatoes here um, that I cut off before I make the medallions, I will bake them as well. Once all the potatoes are seasoned, I'll throw those in the pan unseasoned and then I give them to my dogs as little treats. So again, with the olive oil spray, I lightly coat the potatoes. Um, spraying them in instances like this is just a really great way to save the excess fat if I were to just pour straight olive oil on them. And then the seasonings, you'll see that I pretty much seasoned everything I eat with the same lineup over and over. That garlic salt, I swear by. Um, it's certainly not the healthiest thing I could be using. So if I'm using just plain salt, I will use a Himalaya 
pink salt, um, but man, I'm just obsessed with this Lowry's garlic salt blend. I literally put it on everything and you'll see me put it on everything here. Um, but you know, some salt is important, especially if you sweat a lot and work out a lot. Um, and I do, and I drink enough water that I don't really worry about it. So these guys, I'm going to, I'm obviously stabbing them with a fork, um, and I'm just gonna bake these guys whole and then mash them with some cinnamon. Um, I love sweet potatoes. These are my two favorite ways to have them, um, these medallions that are a little more savory, and then a sweeter mashed version. Okay, potatoes are in the oven. Now onto the rice. This is my absolute favorite rice. I actually get it at Ocean State Job Lot. Jasmine rice in general is my favorite, but this brand is just, there's nothing like it. It cooks so well in my Instapot. Um, and yeah, I think the Instapot is one of the best ways to make rice. I used to have a rice maker, um, but once I got the Instapot, I was able to get rid of it, which is nice because I have a ton of kitchen appliances um, and it's hard to store that many, but the Instapot is a win. To make the rice, I do two cups of rice, four cups of water, about a tablespoon and a half of grass-fed butter, and then a generous amount of the Himalayan pink salt. Pop it on there, and I just go with the rice button, um, and it cooks it. I will say that if I don't remember to uh, manually release the pressure and it sits there auto-releasing, the rice will be very mushy, so just something to keep in mind. Once it's done, you wanna really let the pressure out and open it up right away. On to the chicken. Um, I'll just separate it here. Um, yeah, lots of hand washing when it comes to chicken. <laughs> Constant. Go turn the grill on. It's cold out here. It's cold out here. All right, we had a storm, and <laughs> here's a big branch in front of the grill. Perfect, perfect. The igniter on our grill is broken, so I'm just lighting it um, here with the slider. I swear, grills just deteriorate. I don't know what happens or what we do wrong but it just seems that they have a shelf life man constantly having problems um but it does cook everything really well I'm, I'm overall pretty happy with that grill all right so back to the chicken i'm gonna go ahead and season it i'll grab that olive oil spray again nice light coat just something so the seasonings stick to it um, again, you're gonna see basically all the same seasonings that I put on the sweet potatoes. Um, you know, creature of habit, I like what I like. Um, so instead of making a rub in a bowl, I just sprinkle everything on and then I'll rub it in with my hands. Um, just kind of saves dirtying a bowl with spices and I don't know, it feels like a little less work to me. I guess it's more hand washing though. <laughs> I do try to do my best as I flip the chicken to kind of smear it into whatever extra seasonings might 
have made it onto the cutting board versus the chicken when I was sprinkling. Um, I really do my best to try and waste as little as possible um, in terms of everything. <laughs> On to the asparagus. This will also be getting cooked on the grill. You might have seen I have a large like cast iron grate on there. Um, we leave it on the grill. It just cooks so many things so well, particularly vegetables. Um, I love grilled vegetables, really love it. Grill year round in the snow, I'll be out there. A um, little garlic salt and a little bit of black pepper. So pretty simple here, olive oil. Um, salt, pepper, garlic. I really love grilled asparagus. It's basically the only way I eat it these days. Okay, my water is finally boiling, so time to drop the eggs in. I would normally boil a lot more eggs than I do here, um, but I don't know what's going on, but our chickens have just not been laying like they normally do. Um, you know, we were getting at our peak seven eggs a day, and now we go lots of days without getting any eggs. Um, so I only actually had five eggs at this moment, so that's what I went ahead and boiled grill is ready um, so we'll just pop everything on here it'll cook so fast I love the grill for that reason and it may, just makes everything taste so stinking good Okay, so here I'm just gonna go ahead and dice some peppers and onions up. I cook with peppers and onions and literally everything. Um, if I'm gonna be cooking, I just use it as a base for flavor, um, often with some fresh garlic cloves, um, throw it in eggs, throw it in a salad. It's just really versatile. Um, green peppers and onions are just staples in my diet. These peppers are actually from our garden. They are on the smaller side. Um, it's the end of the season, so they did stop growing, um, but we've got a ton to use up um, and, and we certainly will. So I'll chop these up and I save the tops and the seeds for our chickens. They love them. Um, when I get to the onions too, I'll save bits of that for them as well. Um, just some of their favorite vegetables. They, they love to snack on them and it's nice to feel like I am doing my part um, to not be wasteful so every single piece of this pepper will get used.
So while this isn't a cooked, exact, ready to go thing, this will save me a ton of time um, over the next few days and week when it comes to cooking and getting meals together. Everything's already chopped and ready to go. Um, so back outside, gonna check on everything, flip everything over, looks yummy. Um, asparagus, it gets a little hard to move around when it's this big, but they cook down and they get smaller and they fit on that pan a lot better. Okay, so I set a timer just for the chicken and asparagus for three minutes. My eggs are done. Um, so I have been eating hard-boiled eggs for a while and I've tried all different methods and by far my favorite is to boil them for 12 minutes and then stick them in an ice bath. Um, I just think they come out the best and they typically peel fairly easily. Um, and hard-boiled eggs are just so convenient. They're just ready and good to go. I went and grabbed everything from the grill. Man, that looks good, <laughs> if I do say so myself. And these little potato medallions are done. Okay, so all of the active work of this is done. And I didn't get under 45 minutes, but it was 46 minutes, 55 seconds. So not bad. Um, and you can see I have the bulk of everything done and ready to go. Those sweet potatoes that I'm baking whole are still in the oven. They'll take a little bit extra time. Um, and I'll mash them once they're done. But it's a total passive effort. They're in the oven, I can forget about them and go on what I'm doing and just wait for the timer to beep and they're ready to go. Um, so let me kind of show you what we've got here. Um, a ton of grilled asparagus, grilled chicken. And so the asparagus I'll obviously probably just eat on a side. Um, but the chicken I'll have lots of different ways. Probably just regular today. Um, but I'll throw it in a burrito bowl, a stir fry, a wrap, kind of any way that you would use chicken. We've got a ton ready to go. I just diced up some peppers and onions so it's nice and grab and go easy. I cook with these in pretty much everything I make. Um, they're a lot of base flavor or even raw. Again, I'll throw them in like a burrito or a taco bowl. Um, but they're just nice and easy and they're zero effort. I just take them out of the oven and use them. Some hard boiled eggs. So this is one of my favorite breakfasts. I'll eat two hard boiled eggs with a grapefruit or two hard boiled eggs with a little bit of oatmeal and it's like a five minute breakfast. It's ready to go, the eggs are good. And then these sweet potato medallions. Ooh, I love these babies. These are like my favorite things. I actually love to eat these um, and dip them in Bolt House Farms ranch dressing. Um, I think I have it in here. Yeah, here it is. I love having those in here. Um, maybe it's the way I season them. Maybe I just like sweet potato in it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Um, so quick, ready to go. The rice is also done in the Instapot, um, which is nice, because it's nice and passive. I'll open it and show it to you. You know, so this will be a base. The rice we'll use if I make a stir fry or, um, some kind of bowl or just a general macro bowl where we'll throw, I might do that for lunch, asparagus, rice, and chicken together in a bowl just to kind of hit those macros and get myself full. Um, so let's go ahead and open this bad boy. And this perfect, beautiful rice. Let me grab a little guy and fluff it up. So, remember, work smarter, not harder. Um, you know, use multiple appliances, get things done. I've got a crock pot that I'll use a lot. Obviously the grill, the Instapot, the oven, we used all those things today. Um, air fryer. The more things you can have cooking at once, obviously the more quickly, it's a little cricket, obviously the more quickly your meal prep is going to go. Um, so, you know, instead of, you, you, as you see, like I showed you my finished product and it was lots of 
major food groups prepped, but not individual meals. Um, you know, I do primarily work from home, so it's easier for me to just have the bulk ingredients prepped, and then I'll take them and make individual meals like what I was mentioning, um, going over everything. So yeah, my next video, my next couple will be full days of eating, and it will give you an opportunity to see how I use these ingredients so I don't feel like I'm eating just the same exact food over and over again. Um, think outside the box, get creative, crush your goals. All right, I'll see you in the next one.